breakfast is not that much of a big deal in France. However, when it is served, it is done in quite sweet combinations. Maybe some brioche, pastries, and croissants with some coffee or hot cocoa. 13 Taboos You Should Definitely Know About in France Ever heard of the term faux pas? Well, that's French for missteps. And trust me, you don't want to get caught up in any of those, especially if you are visiting France. We'll be looking into these faux pas and how you can avoid them. Be sure to watch till the end because you wouldn't want to miss number one. Trust me, it'll be a real lifesaver. Let's get right into the video. Number 13 Never ask for what you want up front without first making small talk. In pubs or businesses, there are rules for asking for things. In other cultures, it's normal to greet someone before asking a question or placing an order. If you take your time in France, everyone will adore you more. Say hi or better yet, bonjour. Let them respond or ask about how they may assist you. Then make your request. They'll treat you better and consider you to be very sophisticated. Now, isn't that amazing? Number 12 Never use a wild wave to call the attention of a waiter. There is a proper way to place an order in pubs and other related establishments. Never ever wave your hands like a crazy person at these French restaurants or any others to be clear. Make eye contact or raise a small hand if they are approaching but not arriving immediately. Doing any more than that would be quite impolite and wouldn't make for the finest conversation. Keep in mind that French waiters and waitresses have extensive training in cuisine and wine service. What this means is they typically multitask while racing around. They locate you. Besides, they don't anticipate large tips. Instead, they accept whatever is given and regard it as a measure of the value of their food and services. What do you think about tipping weight personal in French diners? Let us know in the comments below. Now that you know how to relate to the waiters, here's another mega tip for you. Number 11 Don't look down on the little French you know. Just as is common in many other countries, the locals are most likely to give more regard and serve a person better if they come across as knowing their local dialect. While they will understand that you're just a tourist, they'll appreciate you a lot more if you say a little bonjour, au revoir, or merci instead of the regular hi or hello. Did you ever have struggles with the French language? Tell us what they were. Number 10 Never speak over everyone else I get it, receiving great treatment and services because of the French you threw around a couple of times might get you all excited. However, that doesn't mean you should go around speaking over other people. More so, especially not at night. Regarding noise levels, the French are generally considerate of others. Most of the time, English-speaking tourists will be the loudest speakers in cafes and other social gatherings. This can be considered very offensive. Watch your noise levels, especially at night in rural French towns where you don't want to irate locals ordering you to be quiet. Number 9 do not anticipate a large, savory breakfast. Breakfast is not that much of a big deal in France. However, when it is served, it is done in quite sweet combinations. Maybe some brioche, pastries, and croissants with some coffee or hot cocoa. Even in major cities, it's not normal to find eateries that serve more than that. Even if they do, it usually only contains some eggs and bacon for tourists. More importantly on this point is that you should never think that your food can be decomposed into individual sections. For instance, it is very common for English tourists to ask for their meals to be served differently than they normally would in France. They may ask for their food served with or without specific ingredients or their salads with the dressing on the side. These orders may be met with some level of resistance in France. This is because they believe they have created a culinary masterpiece for you, which they expect to be appreciated rather than resented. So, stick to what is served simply for the sake of courtesy. Also, never believe that you can eat whenever you want. Although there are more fast food alternatives available throughout France and service is non-stop all day, they may not always be the greatest choices. Additionally, in smaller towns and villages, they might not even exist. Plan your day if you intend to dine at a restaurant. And always remember, dinner time starts at 7 p.m. What is your favorite French dish? 
Let us know in the comments below with the hashtag strange and funny. Number 8 Never arrive at the party or someone's home without a gift. No matter where you are in the globe, if you are asked to a party or dinner, you usually bring something with you. But in France, this can also refer to a play date with the kids or a cup of coffee at a friend's house. Bring some cake and biscuits from the neighborhood bakery, and you'll be sure to make a good impression and receive an invitation to return. What are you most likely to take as a gift when visiting a French family? Let me know in the comments below. Number 7 Never expect a party to start as scheduled. Don't get this wrong, people still do arrive in time for meetings and get-togethers that have to do with business. But if it's a secular party, it's safe to say that they are done quite differently in France. If a party was slated for 6, it's possible that you'll be the only one there when the party starts. If you're familiar with your hosts, it will be terrific. Otherwise, it can be awkward. To be on the safe side, arrive a bit later than necessary. Number 6 Keep your phone in your pockets One major dining etiquette that also works for social gatherings or hangouts is to keep your phones away from sight. Of course, there will definitely be days when you legit need to check up on something on your phone, and that's perfectly understandable. Otherwise, having your phone in hand or on the table while you're out with friends is a strong indication that you don't really want to be there. It can also be considered rude and can make for really awkward conversations. Have you ever been in one of those? Let us know in the comments below with the hashtag France. Number 5 Never think that cars will stop at pedestrian crossings. In France, there are pedestrian crossings, although cars do not always pause at them to allow walkers to pass. They should slow down because it is more commonly thought as a spot where people might be crossing. If no one stops and you need to cross the street, you must signal your intention before moving forward and wait until they have noticed you and have slowed down. Number 4 Never wait for a space on the beach to be free On beaches, in parks, and even on buses, French people will swarm into any open area. So follow suit. They believe that everyone has a right to the greatest locations and that sharing open public space is acceptable. If you participate, the talks, friendships, and atmosphere will all be much better for you. Number 3 Never think that the French conduct business online. In France, the locals still stick to the good all way. They do most of their business offline and in face-to-face -face meetings. This applies to making bookings, attending meetings, and requesting information. They are most likely to respond faster if you reach out through a phone call or a handwritten letter, as opposed to electronic communication. Now here's a tip for you. If you want to strike the right chords with your French clients or acquaintances, find out if they speak English after attempting a few French words. Number 2 Don't get too drunk The French enjoy drinking, but they usually do it in moderation. The French adore their pre-dinner drink, and it's customary to have a drink, yet you hardly see them drinking to the point of insanity. They rarely drink beer in pints and are frequently seen drinking beer in small portions. Number 1 Finally, don't expect places to be open on Sundays. The French are renowned for maintaining family time, and Sundays are frequently the day when family members get together. Additionally, not all businesses in all locations are permitted to open on Sundays by the government. This rule, however, is slowly changing. But because of this, Sundays will have fewer businesses open. So keep your plans open for whatever comes by. These were the top 13 strange and funny taboos you've probably never heard of in France. Which did you think was the strangest or funniest? Which of these strange and funny rules are you afraid of breaking? Let us know in the comments! If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this one, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell! Thanks for watching and see you in the next one!